What's up guys, it's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Yellow Walkthrough. Now, this time we are in 2D, so my bad guys, no 3D right here. Anywho, in our last episode, we went through the trading process of a few Pokemon. Let's go right ahead and take a look at our Pokemon right here. As you can see, Terramon and Ultra Psycho. Look at these guys. Yes, we finally have a Golem on the team. And we got Ultra Psycho here too. Let's go ahead and take a look at this guy. Oh, yes. Our team is going to be badass. And uh, yeah, I did teach him Flash because, well, you know, it's going to serve... It's gonna serve. It's gonna serve something for me later on down the uh, down the road. Now there is something that I checked right here, and uh, it's Sir Razor. Now I could have sworn I actually <laughs> nicknamed it Sir Razor, so it's all right, guys. We're gonna be getting into the name raider a little bit later on, so hopefully we'll fix this little issue right here. Um, let's see what else. What else? Oh yes, in the the last episode too, we got ourselves our newest Pokemon, Torpedo the Horsey. And we taught him two new moves just so it can fend for itself and, you know, actually kick some butt, take some names and all that stuff. So let's go right ahead and go straight to the rock tunnel and see what we can actually do and uh, move on with the adventure right here. As you can see, we're going to rock tunnel and it is dark. They should have called it dark tunnel or something like that. So let's go ahead and use Ultra Cycle right here. The blinding lights are all over now the other thing too that I'm going to be putting on is repels because yeah we do not need any more Pokemon attacking us or anything like that and uh, well let's see of course there's not gonna be any items around here so let's go right ahead and start using some of our cool Pokemon you know and you know evolve sir razor you know sir okay bring it on Pokemon ready fight go okay alrighty alrighty so here we go Going up against an emo Pokemaniac, and well, he's gonna be coming out with a Cubone. So that's a very good guess right there. Alright, Sir Razor, let's go with the Vine Whip. Now, I do not know how this happened, guys. Maybe it's because it's borderline, uh, towards the very end of the whole thing. I don't know, of the of the, of the the naming process of, of the Pokemon. I don't know. But I could have sworn I nicknamed this Pokemon Sir Razor. I do not know how this happened. So there it is. Vine Whip for the win, and well, he's gonna be coming out with a Slowpoke. Hopefully, it doesn't have confusion or anything like that. Now, in our last episode too, I did mention that the second channel that I have, Rap Baskets on a Crapsicle Stick. There's the confusion. Uh oh. Okay, so there is no way in heck that we're gonna beat this guy. So let's go to Aaliyah. I did say in the last episode, the second channel is going to be featuring Pokemon Red, Blue, and Green, and then we're gonna be going into Pokemon Stadium beating everything there you know we're kind of having fun with this whole walkthrough stuff and that is so true because well I've always wanted to beat Pokemon Stadium but never managed to beat the whole thing you know okay I think it's time for all that stuff to happen now did I bring myself some healing items because oh yeah super potions we still need to evolve Sir Razor and uh, well let's go right ahead and not be bothered by any Pokemon again if you don't want to be bothered by Pokemon buy yourself a corrupt ton of a uh, of uh, of repels right here and it will actually save you some some good time right here so here we're getting attacked by a, a Zubat and well it is at level 22 it's a, obviously a little bit faster that's what's gonna happen if you have a weak Pokemon in front of you so let's go ahead and switch him out let's go ahead and start with ultra psycho right here and uh, take on this guy now I get it I taught ultra psycho flash but it is there for a very good reason I know that I can't really change anything about that, but I eventually will, you know, delete that that move. But it's strategic for what was going to happen. And, uh, well, let's see. Let's go with a Seismic Toss right here for Ultra Psycho. Physically, it's not the best Pokemon, but mentally or special, it's going to be the best. And, well, there is a Disable Attack, and the Flash Technique has been <laughs> defeated. Okay, well, it has been uh, taken away. So let's go straight to Aaliyah. Yes. If all else fails, go to Aaliyah. And here comes a confusion attack. Holy bejeebus. Okay, so let's go Thunderbolt for the win. Mm hmm. Look at that. Okay. Slowpoke has been defeated. And, well, more of my Pokemon are, you know, more of my Pokemon are getting stronger and stronger. And yes, you are exhausted, homeboy. So let's move on right here. And, uh, yes, I think she does have some grass type Pokemon. And I always think that there's items right here, guys. I do not know why. It's probably because of the remakes and all that crud. So let's go straight to Godzilla Godzilla. Our team is looking pretty legit right now. I'm actually very happy about that. 
I don't often come here, but I will fight you. Hmm. Is that so? Okay, so here we go, taking on Junior Trainer Female, and she will be coming out with some grass type Pokemon. And, well, let's go straight for Ember Attack right here. Oh, yes. Ember Attack doesn't really do its trick, but here comes the Sleep Powder. doesn't affect me, so we still got a chance to actually do this. And, well, look at that. Okay, and the Poison Powder has hit me. So let's go again one more time with an Ember Attack. And there you go. Okay, and, uh, well, Godzilla Godzilla is growing to level 21. And we're going to be taking on a Bulbasaur. I'm going to take a risk right here. By taking on this Bulbasaur, let's go straight for the Ember Attack. And that nearly defeats Bulbasaur right there. But there is a, uh, yeah, there's that. And that. Not super effective, but there comes the Ember Attack right there. Okay, alrighty, so there we go, guys. We have defeated him, and, uh, well, we still got a Poison Pokemon right here. Alright, let's go right ahead and see if we have some Antidotes. Do we have some Antidotes? Uh, yes, we do. We have plenty of antidotes. Make sure to stock up on healing items, guys, because you don't want to go back and forth or anything uh, within this uh, chamber of doom. And, yes. Yeah, we're gonna get attacked by these Pokemon right here because, well, you know, you know how it is, guys. Okay, so, yeah, don't want to mess with that Pokemon. Now, going in here, I often go back to the times where, when I first started playing Pokemon, I didn't really know how to maneuver the game. I always used one Pokemon that was Charmander, Charmeleon, and Charizard. I do believe that I evolved that Pokemon uh, to Charizard right before I got to Rock Tunnel right here. And, wow, I was correct on that one. So here we go, Bubble Beam. And the Rage Attack is going to hit me pretty hard right there. Alright, Bubble Beam. Bubble Beam. Bubble Beam. And that does a lot of damage. Oh, it's its attack has risen. And there we go with another Rage Attack right there. But here goes a Bubble Beam. And just like that, Charmander has been defeated. And it boosted uh, stats right there. So I'm not going to take my risk right here against that guy. So let's go straight to... Yeah, let's go... You know what? Let's go Ultra Psycho right here. Now, like I was saying, guys, I always go back to when I was starting... Uh, playing uh, when I started playing these Pokemon games and whatnot and you know how I only used one Pokemon um, this was off of a borrowed Game Boy and I never really got to finish the game but I, I used the same Pokemon the only the only Pokemon I didn't know how to treat the other Pokemon I didn't know how to like train them and all that stuff until I finally got into it never really like, had a, a Game Boy by myself I always had to borrow people's Game Boys and whatnot that's how I got to learn how to play these games and all and all that stuff. And uh, you know, growing up as an adult, you get to you get the benefit of buying stuff for yourself. And well, I really do appreciate these games a lot more just because of uh, you know what they mean to me and everything. You know, I, I, it actually meant that I had a childhood aside from you know only playing outside and uh, I guess doing chores and all that stuff. Yeah, I was pretty sheltered, guys. Very very sheltered. Okay, so let's go ahead and take on this guy. And he's like, my Pokemon techniques will leave you crying. Will they? I don't know. Okay, so here we go. We take it on a hiker. And he's coming out with a Geodude. Level 25. 10 levels above this Pokemon right here. But let's see if the Bubbly Beam can actually work. And that... Wow, one hit KO. Torpedo is kicking butt. And it's growing levels. There we go. Alright, Torpedo. Now, where did the name Torpedo come from? Well, it's basically because of, uh... <laughs> it's basically... It's basically by the way it attacks. You know, the water gun, the bubbles, and all that stuff. It, it looks like a torpedo. It's pretty hilarious. And now, well, here we have another hiker, and... He's coming out with a Machop. This is, uh, no bueno for me. So, let's go right ahead and switch the train. And, uh, let's go straight to... Not Aaliyah, but let's go to Ultra Psycho. It's gonna take one hit, but that's about it. And, well, let's see, Ultra Psycho right there, here's the Karate Chop. And in this game, it's it's based, uh, it's, well, it's what, it's, it's attack, it's normal. Karate Chop is normal, it's a normal type attack here. Don't get that. Alright, and here comes an Onyx. Let's go right ahead and go to Sir Razor. And, uh, well, let's see. 
Sir Razor, you're about to evolve. Let's go right ahead and Jeebus, Criminy. Okay, can't move. This is what happens when we're not fast. Onyx just binds us, and there's an attack right there with a tackle, and here goes a Vine Whip attack. And just like that, we defeat Onyx. Look at that, okay. Say hello to level 21 for Sir Razor, and it's learning Stun Spore. Okay, let's see. Honestly, I think I'm gonna keep Sleep Powder because it actually works better for me. I already have a Pokemon that knows how to paralyze. We're just gonna keep it like that. And well, Sir Razor is finally evolving. Look at that. Okay, and hopefully I won't mess up with the whole graphic right here on the side because, yeah. So there it is, guys. Sir Razor has evolved into a Weeping Bell. Let's go ahead and take a look at this Pokemon right here. Let's see what you are all about. So here's Sir Razor. Grass and poison type Pokemon. Pretty good stats, it's special, and it's attack. It's pretty good. It's, it's right there. Now, the way to evolve this Pokemon right here uh, to its final stage, it's going to have to be by stone, and luckily, we're actually going to be going to an area where, you know, you can actually buy yourself some elemental stones. Alright, let's pick a fight with this guy. This tunnel goes a long way, kid. It does. It does. Okay, so here we go, taking on a hiker, and well, he's gonna be coming out with a Geodude right here. And well, it's Torpedo going with the Bubbly Beam. It's a super powerful attack. Thank you, Misty. Say goodbye to Geodude. Look at that. Okay. And uh, yes, we're gonna be growing like crazy because this Pokemon is traded. Let's go switch out our Pokemon right here. Let's go straight to Ultra Psycho. See what you're all about right here. Machop. Machop looks uh, pretty buff right there with his arms, but here comes a confusion attack. And this right here works. It's actually for the win. And well, here comes another Geodude. So let's go ahead and give Sir Razor a little bit of love right here. And uh, well, there's Geodude. Looking all Geodude. 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 And here we go. Vine Whip attack. And that's for the win right there. Look at that. Okay. And, well, let's see. Another Geodude. Let's go right ahead and switch it out to Torpedo. See what Torpedo can do. Again. Kind of want to grow at levels. It's going to be a good episode for to uh, Torpedo. And here we go. Bubbly Beam for the win. And that is that for, Be oh, for Geodude. And, well... Look at that, level 18. So this Pokemon is growing like crazy. Like I said before in the last episode, guys, I was not going to wait until later on to get a good rod or anything to actually capture to capture a uh, horsey. I kind of wanted it now. Uh, screw it, sue me. Sue me if you guys don't like the fact that I traded for a horsey. At least I got it, right? The right way. Okay, so there we go, Bubbly Beam, uh, defeating a Geodude, and yes, we're getting some more levels, and, well, did I use a Repel, or are we that weak? Okay, yeah, we didn't, yeah, okay. So here we have another Trainer. I'm definitely, I am definitely buying, uh, battling everybody here. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Alrighty, so here we go, Hiker taking on us, and he's coming out with his Onyx right here. And, well... Again, Le Bubbly attack, and well, that right there, the attack looks like it's going to be hitting us hard, and uh, well, the Bubbly Beam, it does its trick, and the Bubbly Beam gives us more, po more power, look at that, level 19, and there is the smoke screen attack, which is actually going to be beneficial for us, now let's go ahead and switch out our Pokemon, let's give Sir Razor a little bit of uh, loving right here too, and uh, Again, I'm gonna have to change that nickname again because I don't know why. I don't know why they would they would do this thing. I don't know. So there we go. Vine Whip for the win. How you like that? Okay, and Sir Razor has grown to level 22 already. Here comes a Geo Dude, and uh, well, let's go. Let's continue on with Sir Razor. Okay, alrighty. So here we go. Vine Whip attack. And Geodude has been defeated. There we go. Okay. Alrighty. You know, we're loosening up the muscles. Our Pokemon team is coming on uh, nicely. What do you guys think? I don't know. Let us find out. And, uh, well, this guy probably has a Graveler. Now, my question is, how come 
the first generation never came out with uh, a golem. That was the only Pokemon that in this whole game that I've never ever seen used by a trainer alongside Pinsir and, uh, well, Pinsir, Kangaskhan, well, I lie, I lie, Pinsir, Scyther, Golem. These are the three Pokemon that have, I've never seen used uh, by another trainer and all that stuff. So that, that's always really, really, like, that's it's always bothered me for some reason. I don't know. And then trying to trade for a Pokemon, it's, you know, quite difficult too. And, well, there we go, Graveler. Defeated! Torpedo easily grows to level 20, so welcome to the level 20 club. And just like that, yes, he gives. He gives. And, well, let's go ahead and switch out our Pokemon since uh, this guy has already grown to its levels. Let's go ahead and use Terramon. This is a Pokemon we have, have yet to use right here. And uh, I think we are close to being done right here, I think. I don't know. There might be an item up here, I don't know. Uh, yeah, there's always an item right there. And, well, let's go right here. And hikers leave twigs as trail markers, which is true. i just never been hiking them uh, a lot. So here we go, junior trainer female coming out with a Jigglypuff. And uh, say hello to the new and improved Terramon as Golem. And, well, let's go right ahead with the rock throw. Now... I don't necessarily like the sprite, the back sprite for uh, Terramon, but I do love the defense. Oh my god, here we go, Mega Punch for the win. Yes, Terramon is a beast. It is a beast, and well, she's coming out with a Pidgey. Let's continue on with the Rock Throw. Now, can't wait to get into Pokemon Stadium, guys, because we're going to be having a nice selection of Pokemon to use. Um, well, <laughs> a nice... We're going to be using Pokemon that that I've used in the past, in the past walkthroughs, such as, you know, Leonardo, uh, Dubasaur, Mineduck, even though we didn't necessarily use Mineduck a lot, but Mineduck is going to be there. Fan favorite stuff, guys. Fan favorite stuff. Yes, we are, we are actually fulfilling the promise and everything else right here. And, well, let's see. There's no, uh, again, there's no items here. Why am I doing that? Okay, so let's go ahead and switch out our Pokemon. Let's go to Aaliyah. Oh, actually, hold on, hold on. Wrong, wrong person. Let's go back to Torpedo. All right, Torpedo's right here. Let's go ahead and battle this guy. Ha ha ha, can you beat my power? I think I can. I think I can. So here we go, taking on another hiker, and he is coming out with a Geodude, so I might be overpowering my Torpedo just a tad bit. I did say that Torpedo was going to have a special, I would like to say, a special, whatchamacallit, uh, uh, appearance in another walkthrough, hopefully pretty soon, if we get this walkthrough done and all that stuff and I stop slacking. Let's go with the Water Gun, okay? We've been using Bubble Beam a lot. But like I was saying, guys, it might have a special appearance later on in future walkthroughs, just, just as well as my other Pokemon right here. Again, we are moving our Pokemon from game to game. How it's going to happen, you guys will see. And, well, here we have Graveler going with the Bubbly Beam because, yeah, Graveler's pretty strong right there. Yeah, this Torpedo is kicking some butt, taking some names. Yeah, buddy. And, well, there goes Hiker, and he's like, oops, outmuscled. Yes, okay, so, again, guys, what do you think of my team so far? It's pretty legit right now. I kind of feel, well, I actually love it. I'm actually loving the, I'm actually loving the, the, the type of team that I have right now. Okay. Here we go, taking on a Pokemaniac, and yes, there is a Slowpoke. Now, now that I have the capability to trade, I am... Thinking of, uh, you know, trading some of these Pokemon to the other versions so I can learn some other moves right here. Call it cheating, if you will. I don't know. It's not really cheating. I just kind of wanted, I kind of want a few Pokemon that I have here to learn, uh, good gravy. Oh, yeah, to learn some specific moves before, you know, we fully evolve. And, well, there we go. Gr Slowpoke's getting its butt kicked, and, uh, oh my god. We're, we, 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 we about to fade here, but look at this. That is how you do it, guys. Slowpoke has been defeated. Godzilla and Sir Razor have gained some points. Here comes another Slowpoke. Let's go straight to Aaliyah. Mm-hmm. All right, Aaliyah. You know how it's done. Let's go with a Thunderbolt. 
And the Thunderbolt does its trick. Say goodbye to Slowpoke. And, well, say hello to level 29. Yeah, buddy. Okay, so Slowpoke's coming up again. And let's go right ahead and use the same attack, Thunderbolt, that made Aaliyah famous in 48 countries. Look at that. Okay. And just like that, Slowpoke has been defeated. Yeah, buddy. Okay. Alrighty, so let's go ahead and uh, heal up our Pokemon because we kind of, yeah, we, we got one more room to go. So Razor kind of needs the, the healing and all that crud. And, uh, well, let's see. Let's see. Let's go right ahead and not get attacked by Pokemon. Again, repels, they got to... They are useful, and uh, where the hell is the repel? Okay, so there we go. There we go. Okay, let's uh, let's get this. And we got uh, quite a few trainers left. I'm gonna keep uh, Godzilla intact right here. Now, who'd ever thought that Godzilla was actually is not actually the strongest Pokemon so far? I love this Pokemon, and I kind of like to use it to no end. But yeah, and well, here comes a Godzilla. Godzilla, let's go straight for an Ember attack. And that Ember attack does it. You see, this is the reason why you need to stock up because things like this happen. Let's go right ahead and use an Awakening. Where the heck is an Awakening? Okay, so I bought five of these suckers. All right, Godzilla. And wow. Okay, so we're going to be spamming this. Never mind. Look at that. Okay, so it was going to be using the... Uh, it was going to be using the Wrap Spam, which is annoying. And... Let's go with an Ember attack yet again, finish this guy off, and there goes Bellsprout. Yes, Godzilla is nobody's fool right here, and she's going to be using a Clefairy. Let's go straight for another Pokemon right here. Let's go straight for Aaliyah. Aaliyah has no patience for these Pokemon right here. Okay, Thunderbolt for the win, and there goes, oh wow, Clefairy is paralyzed, okay. Now, I actually thought about using Clefairy at one point. I don't know what what brought brought upon that idea. Probably the, probably the fact that it can learn Psychic Attack and all that stuff. But then, you know, I realized I'm using Ultra Psycho. There's no need for anything else. And, well, here we go. Another trainer. You have Pokemon? Let's start. Hmm. Let's go right ahead and start this. Okay. Here we have another junior trainer female. She has quite a few Pokemon, and uh, Godzilla has no patience for them. Let's go straight for an Ember attack. Okay, and that Gust attack. Oh my god, you gotta love that Gust attack. So here we go again. Ember attack yet again. And good gravy. Pidgey, just go. Godzilla, get stronger. Good gravy. Should probably like teach it a new move or something because, uh, yeah. It's not really giving me something, but there is level 22, finally. And she's about to use a Rattata, so let's go ahead and use Terramon right here. So that's probably the thing right now. I'm probably going to be teaching uh, Godzilla a new move here and there because, yes, I have no patience for these guys right now. And here we go, Dig Attack. And there goes Rattata. Defeated. And, well, here comes another Rattata. Let's just use uh, Terramon. Terramon, your defense is more defensive. Alrighty, okay. Here we go. Let's get it. Look at that, okay. And, well, here comes a Bell Sprout. So let's go straight back to Godzilla, Godzilla. And hopefully it doesn't get put to sleep because that's kind of annoying right there. So here we go, Godzilla. Ready and go. Okay. And, well, we can get poison. At least we could still attack. So here we go. Another Ember attack for the win. And say goodbye to Bellsprout. Yes, sir. You have been defeated. Oh, yeah. And, yes, I am playing hard to get, I guess. I don't know. All right. Let's go right ahead and heal up our Pokemon yet again. Because we kind of don't need this, this whole, you know, poisoning thing. And Godzilla is actually looking pretty good right now. It's just uh, we need a little more work on this guy. So, Godzilla healed up. Let us move on right here. And, uh, well, let's see what happens. Okay, so there's one more train right here. Uh, you know what? Screw it. Let's go with Godzilla. Alrighty. Anywho. Yes, this episode's going to be a little long. Now, you guys, uh, uh, some of you guys are wondering why I, I'm taking a little longer than, uh, than usual to actually come out with these episodes. It's not 
the fact that, you know, I'm not uploading, it's just the upload time. Ever since I upgraded in uh, equipment, yes, the, the upload time has gotten a little bit longer. That's why I always have to start up, like, at, uh... At an early time, just to get you uh, get you the episode in time, I I get it that the you know there was a few episodes that I uploaded right at midnight and all that stuff. But trust me, guys, I actually uploaded them like right around nine ish. So yeah, my bad. And well, here comes another Ember attack, and just like that, Meowth has been defeated. And well, let's see, Oddish is coming out. Let's continue on right here and go with an Ember attack. I really, really want to uh, teach Godzilla a new move here and there. And there is a Sleep Powder. This is awesome. Pretty awesome. Okay. Gotta love these Grass-type Pokemon. So, first is first. Let's go ahead and heal up our Pokemon. Let's go... Let's give it a Super Potion right here. Godzilla is going to battle out of this uh, little thingy right here. And here comes an Absorb attack. Not cool. Not cool at all. And let's go right ahead and give it its awakening. Yeah, you gotta love that. Okay, so here comes a poison powder, which I have no problem with. It's just we're gonna be hurt a little. So let's go, Ember Attack. And that Ember Attack does the trick. And Godzilla's growing more levels. So here comes a Pidgey. Let's go straight to Aaliyah. Let's finish it off. Okay, here we go. Thunderbolt Attack for the win. Okay, all right, all right, and just like that, you have been defeated. Okay, finally, okay, so that is that, and, uh, well, we are, oh, wow, completely forgot about you. Sorry, man, sorry, 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 sorry. There we go, and just like that, we are healed. Now, there are four trainers outside. I am going to be pausing the game right here because... In the next episode, we're going to be going through Lavender Town and going through another route. And I would love to, you know, keep these episodes nice and brief and everything. So, again, thank you guys for watching. I will see you guys in the next episode. Make sure to subscribe. Click that notification button. If you guys would like to make a donation here to the channel, link's on the description. I will be back for another episode of Pokemon Yellow. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time.